Hi, Libra. Welcome back. This is going to be your um, updated reading for Libra, the Empress, for the upcoming days. What's coming in towards you, Libra? Okay, I just did a 50-minute reading for you for March the 23rd and the 24th, and I'm going to do another one. Because Libra's video, for some odd reason, is the only one that's not showing up that well or that's having issues that everybody's leaving that they can't see and body, body, body. I know a lot of you have seen it, okay? But a lot of you, I mean, it's working and then it's not working. It's working and then it's not working. So I'm going to keep posting for Libra until the video is working. Libra is the Empress, your highness. And if shit don't work for the scales, hope it don't work for nobody goddamn body. So we're going to keep doing videos for the Empress until I don't feel like it no more fucking more. So let's see. What's coming in for Libra, the Empress, please, dear God, angels, universe? Make sure to watch that 50 minute long video. It is very informative. It is, I, I talk and speak truth anyways, but all through that video. So you make sure that you can sit down and you have the time. Look at that, Libra. I saw the justice. 11, uh, 1, 1, 1 on the clock. Make sure you have the time to sit down, have your drink or whatever you, and your smoke and watch the whole thing from beginning to fucking end. And here's another one for you. For Libra, the Empress, sales, justice, and karma. What's coming up for Libra, the Empress, in the upcoming days? That video was for the 23rd and the 24th. So we'll do um, the 25th to the rest of uh, March. So what's going on for the rest of March? For Libra, the 25th to the 31st. I think it's 31 days in March. All right. So the 25th to the 31st for Libra, the Empress. March 25 to the 31st for Libra, the Empress, Scale, Justice, and Karma. What's coming in for Libra, please? Libra, the Empress, for the rest of the month, March 25th to the 23rd. Okay, for Libra, the Empress. So we have the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. Wow, okay. And we have the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles, so... And the star, wow. So you could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Pisces. It could be a Sagittarius. But I'm getting new love for you coming in. A very spiritual connection being very fulfilled, very much in love. This is a very divine connection that's being given to you here, Libra, but from the universe. Because you've been patient in love. You have not, you know, just been dating anybody. Your standards have always been set and they have remained. You're, no, you're not waiting for anybody. And as a result, you didn't lower your standards. You're getting this new love. If you go watch the other video, you'll see there too. So this could be somebody that's here already. Or this is somebody that's coming in. It's different for everybody. You get what I'm saying? But this is beautiful. The Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups, I rarely see this come out together, but this is a very fulfilling, deep emotional connection between two people who are pouring into each other's cups evenly. One is not giving more than the other. This is a beautiful, very divine connection. Two people that see things the same way, eye to eye. Two people that are very compatible with one another. There's such an overpouring of love, 333, that I'm feeling here in this reading. And I open the deck and the lovers. Wow. That is a different type of connection. You are finally going to have the love that you want and that you deserve. It could be with a Gemini or a water sign. Leapers. This is so beautiful, man. It could also be, I, I'm getting like, yeah, this is. This is, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Definitely go watch the other reading, y'all. Yeah, the uh, higher find. I'm also getting an opportunity coming in or, or some kind of money or gesture. Somebody may be proposing marriage to you. Somebody wants to marry you. They see you as their husband or their wife. This new love, this person that's coming in for you, Libras. Look at you, the Empress. Wow, Libra. Looking very beautiful. Very, uh, some of you could be getting your nails or hair done or you're doing something with yourself. But look at this. Look at the wings. We have wings on each one of these cards. This is such a divinely guided connection that is coming in for you by the universe. The universe is giving this relationship to you because you deserve it. The universe has brought you two together because you deserve it. 444 on the clock. Stability. This is what you're getting. Stability, love, marriage, a divine union. Okay, that you deserve. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. There you are, Libra. Okay. 
and the page of cups. So I'm getting a very a, a connection where two people are very much on the same page, a very intellectual connection, a very intellectual um a very much intellectually compatible with this person. You are Libra, okay? I feel like you and this person will be able to talk about anything. You two are, you just get along. There's a very telepathic connection as well. The lovers and the two of cups, that's a love that cannot be broken. That's a bond that cannot be broken. Yeah, this king of pentacles here. You definitely should go watch the other video. This king of pentacles is on your ass. They coming in wow. I said they coming in and look at that eight of wands. Somebody's coming in fast. The universe is bringing this in for you. Okay. I'm getting, I'm getting, you deserve this, Libra, 555. Five, five. Something's going to happen. There's a huge change that's coming in for you, Libra. And know that you deserve this. Know that you, um, look at that. Wow. Know that you deserve this, love. We have the sun card, okay? So you're going to be very happy, very radiant. I'm getting something about your skin. Okay, I'm getting you look very, very beautiful. Wow. Okay, or this connection is going to shine. I'm getting you and this person are going to shine together. Okay, so the rest of this month, you're, you're really in love. You're in love with your divine counterpart. You're, you, you've you met them, you're in love. Or for others, if you haven't, you're, you could possibly meet them before this month is up. I'm getting, you're very, you're very, you're very intelligent here. You're working hard. You could be a business owner, very sharp. The queen of swords, that's you. Very intelligent. We have the uh, chariot card that flipped over as well. All right. Okay. Could be a Cancer or a Leo or a Gemini or somebody could have this highly aspected that you're dealing with here. I'm getting your charging ahead. You're really taking control. This is a this is going to be a beautiful connection. Yeah, the two of wands. I'm also getting good choices. You're also making good choices in life. You cannot make a wrong choice. The sun card is a solution to everything, any, any problem you have. I don't see any problems being here. The sun is like, you don't have to worry. I'm going to make sure everything is okay. And we have the page of pentacles. So I'm definitely getting something about work. This could be also be about your child as well. I'm, I'm getting you're very happy with your child or your child is very happy. Or something it could be a Leo child with the sun card or a Cancerian child. It could be, it, it, they could be any sign. But I'm really, I'm, I'm getting you, you, you're doing really, really well here for yourself. Making good choices. Every choice you make is a good one. I'm getting you're very happy with the decisions that you have made thus far in your life because it has brought you where you are now. Um, you're getting you make good decisions in career, in love, and everything that you do. There's something new that you could be doing, and you could put, be putting a lot of hard work in that's going to put you on the map. I'm getting you're literally going to be put on the map. The number 808 just popped up in my head, so that could be significant. That's a number of abundance, wealth. Be careful of like synchronicities that you get around you, the animals that you see and shit like that. Because yesterday I saw a, a gecko. All right. And those are representations of wealth and good fortune. I also saw ravens, which is the same thing. OK, so be so watch out for the animals. And I saw butterflies and everything. All that shit has a meaning. Yeah, we have the will of fortune. All those um animal totems have a meaning when you see them. You know what I'm saying? Look up what it means for you. But I'm getting Libra. This, I mean, y'all see the cards coming out. This is beautiful. Okay. Wow, this is just too, 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 too many that wanted to come out all at once. Okay. But we have uh, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Swords. Okay. The Knight of Swords, the Page of Cups. So this, this appears to be somebody... Uh, the Knight of Wands wanting to come in here. The Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. I see you being very, very happy, man. The Sun and the Ten of Cups is the two of the happiest cards in the deck. We have the Queen of Wands, very confident, very beautiful. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles, Page of Swords. I feel you putting in your work. Whatever you do for work, you look very, you're very attractive, very beautiful. I'm getting you work hard. You shine. You keep your nose to the grindstone. Okay. You're doing your fucking thing here. I mean, this this is just, I don't know how else to like put this. Yeah, the world card, okay? 
I'm getting you're happy about cycles that are closing out, cycles that are completed. There's a, there's a level of mastery here or a level of um or completion of a cycle or, or a level of experience that you've had here. Okay. In a certain field, this could be in your business, whatever this is that you're doing here. I'm really getting, you're being put, I keep hearing on the map. You're being put on the map here. You're really expanding. You're becoming, you're becoming more and more known. You're working really hard. Chariot is taking charge, being in charge, success and recognition with the sun card here as well. Like you, you really, yeah, the ace of swords, that's the truth. You really, you're really intelligent. You're really working hard, man. And you're really winning and you're really victorious. The chariot is a card of vic being victorious and so is the ace of swords. You're victorious here and you're shining and you're absolutely meant to. There's going to be motherfuckers who are mad. Oh, well, yep, five of swords. Oh, well, that ain't got shit to do with you. There could be several people because you've walked away. You're no longer putting your energy into anything negative, anybody negative, anybody you feel is secretly wants to try to stop you, hold you, or block you. You've gotten rid of that and that's why you continue to upgrade in your life. You know how to cut off motherfuckers, 11-11, okay? You know how to cut off and get rid of motherfuckers that's no longer serving you. You look at that, the nine of pentacles, that's somebody self-made, self-sufficient, beautiful. Wow, the king of pentacles, I'm getting you're a millionaire or you're going to be Libra. I just heard that. And then we have the magician. So you could, the Aries, Cancer, Leo, and Gemini energy here, okay? Yeah, and look at that, the queen of pentacles, period. I'm getting, I'm getting the rest of the month for you from the 25th to the 31st or whatever is like working something you're putting your hard work into. I'm getting, you're getting money. There's also an influx in your pay with the King of Pentacles, the magician. You're extremely fucking powerful. I'm also getting, you're doing something new here. Some of you could be tarot readers, palm readers, whatever this is that you're doing, you're doing something new and it's taking off the sun card. You are really, really shining. Some of you could have Aries highly aspected in your chart somewhere. Okay. But I'm getting, it, it's like Libra, you can't go wrong. Look at these cards that's coming out. Even the ones that are falling out in bulk are, are good cards. Like it's, And then we have the magician here as well at the bottom of this deck. So I'm getting your master manifester. I open the deck and look at the ace of pentacles showing up. I'm getting you're a master manifester. You're v I'm also getting a clean bill of health. You're very healthy. You're eating very healthy. You've changed your eating habits. You look better. You look more fit. You could be working out. Like you just look, you just look great here. The queen of pentacles, you're doing great. I'm getting you're about to, the lovers in the two of cups, man, and the ten of cups, you're about to be so happy with the sun. You're about to be so emotional, emotionally fulfilled. Okay. Because you deserve this. It's what I just heard Spirit say. You deserve this. You worked hard for it. You continue to work hard every day with all the odds. When people try to stack odds against you, bitch, you took them shit right out their raggedy motherfucking hand. You stacked them yourself and you conquered them hoes. Fuck you talking about. Everybody that tried to wish bad on you or try to block you and stop you and been doing shit behind your back for years and smiling in your face, doing all kinds of spell work and all that, all that shit is going to backfire on hoes. You ain't the one that's down. Now you're destined for greatness. You always have been. And now motherfuckers is, is shitting on themselves, literally. And everything they put, 333, 1333, that they tried to do to you to affect you in any way is coming back on their ass tenfold. Mark my motherfucking words on that. Yeah, the Ace of Swords, that's the truth. One second, Libra. Okay. I'm just here, God saying, I'm gonna protect you fiercely. You are my chosen child. You are my you are the one. Yeah, the page of wands. You're gonna get confirmation here of this reading or something. Your your my spirit guides are speaking loudly to me. You are the one. I chose you for this. You'll never have to worry. You are protected. And anybody that comes for you or anybody that does anything wicked, I am God, the Almighty. I will deal with them. Because there's been several, yeah, the will of fortune. You see that? And the nine of cups. When I open the deck, do you see that? Two cards of making it, living life, living good, eating good, sleeping good, having everything that you want. You're destined for it. Will of fortune. You're, you're destined to live this very spoiled life. 
The universe is going to make sure of it. Do you understand? They're going to make sure of it. You deserved it for whatever you did in your past life. You conquered your, your Saturn return. You did what the fuck you had to do. You went through the trenches, bitch. You went in the wood. You went in the woods with a wolf, bitch. And you came out with a whole coat on their motherfucking ass, bitch. Yeah, I saw the king to the queen of cups. Somebody you're going to be so madly in love with, man. It's going to be like, yeah, we got the knight of cups, the ten of pentacles, the eight of wands. Look at all this good news and money and fortune coming towards you. I saw the king to the queen of cups with the lovers and the two of cups and the ten of cups in the sun and the ace of cups. You're about to be so madly in love, Libra. It makes no sense. Yeah, the judgment in the king of cups, it could be with a water sign. I'm getting heavy water energy. It could be with a Pisces or a Cancer. Okay, or this king of pentacles that keeps showing up. It could be an earth sign, a Taurus as well. Motherfuckers that slept on you, slipped on you and some more shit. They're going to be mad about that shit. They're going to be real fucking mad, bro. That they, that they slip, they're going to be real mad. Motherfuckers who had the opportunity to be with you, to capitalize and, and all that shit. And they didn't want to do it. Six of swords flipped over. That's your spirit guides. Okay. And they didn't want to do it or they didn't want to come in. They're going to be mad. Everybody that shitted on you or, or was doing sneaky shit behind your back or trying to hex you and, and put hexes and spells and block you and do all kinds of witch, wicked shit to you. They're going to be mad. And they also gonna pay for it real, real bad because I'm getting people going through years and years of bad karma for the shit that they've been trying to do for you to you for years or months or whatever it is. And look at that ace of swords. That's the truth. What I just said years and years. I'm hearing eight to 10 years, maybe even longer, maybe even 12. Yeah, death. And for some, it could be a death. People don't understand when you're fucking with God's child and his chosen one. Everybody is God's child, but everybody ain't chosen. And when you're coming for motherfuckers who chosen to do shit on this earth to bring healing to humanity, to make changes, to shift the access of this whole fucked up ass world. And, and you out here doing all kinds of wicked shit to block and stop them because you just hateful, nasty, miserable, and you just a fuck nigga or a female, then you're going to pay for that. Just period, point blank. All you got to do is keep working. Your guides are here, six of swords. You're being guided. Someone's being guided into your life or they already are here. They were guided to you. Anybody that slept on you, that didn't want to capitalize on the connection, they're going to regret that shit. So bad, always. Mark my fucking words. They'll be sitting back watching you. So, you know, don't worry about who didn't capitalize. There's that ace of pentacles again. Don't worry about who didn't capitalize or who didn't, who didn't, um didn't do right or who didn't whatever you don't need to worry about that bitches is about to be real 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 fucking mad and sad bitch yeah we got a king of cups here too so i'm telling you there's a king of cups there's somebody coming in that's going to love you deep man i'm talking about so and they're going to be so fucking loyal to you man they're only going to have eyes for you the two of cups is like or somebody's going to prioritize this relationship nothing will come before this relationship with you and this person this person, if you have a child or children, because I only see one child here so far with the page of pentacles, this person is going to love your child, love you. They're going to um, take your child in like it's their own. Like I'm seeing this. This is this is very beautiful, man. Very beautiful. Somebody's going to be madly in love with you, madly. Okay, you can have two options here. Two, two motherfuckers. Yeah, the Page of Cups. So there's that other child. Yeah, the King of Cups and Page of Cups. Wow. So this person could be coming in with a child. You could have a child. Because we have the King of Cups and the Page of Cups here. And then the King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. So this is somebody with a child. So maybe you have a child and they have a child. They could have like a young girl or you could have a boy. They could be around the same ages. They could be around the same age. Okay, 
but I'm getting you're coming together. You're both going to love each other's children. You're, it's going to be a very deep bond between the. It's gonna be. It's gonna be very beautiful. And look, the Queen of Cups. Wow. So deep love. There's that King Queen of Cups again. Deeply and madly in love is what you're getting here, because you deserve it, Libra. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. Getting what you want, being happy and being satisfied. You deserve to have that. The Three of Pentacles, this could be through a work situation. I'm also getting you're going to work with this person. You guys are going to work together. All right. I just heard something about the past. So there could be somebody from the past that's holding on. This is the rest of your month, though. A lot of love, a lot of support here, a lot of offers. Okay, work is going well, manifesting exactly what you want. You're very happy. The sun, the ten of cups, you're shining. Okay, a lot of suitors here. A lot of, yeah, I said something about the past. So look at the six of cups, four of pentacles. I'm getting, I'm getting, you and your child are going to be very, very, very comfortable, very happy here. Okay. We have the four of wands. Home life is great. You're doing well here. Um, I see you. I see somebody could be like, I, I see you getting married here. You're going to be getting married to someone is what I heard Spirit say. Okay. And if it's not in this month, of course, not in the rest of the seven days left in the month, but I'm saying you could be meeting someone or you met someone that this is, this is what it's going to turn into ultimately. Okay. This is, this is very satisfying to see. This is beautiful, but you deserve it. I'm also getting a beautiful home. I wish you guys could see, uh, Libras, how I've de redecorated my home, switched the furniture around. It's so beautiful, y'all. A lot of you could be doing that, buying nice things. I just been buying shit, y'all, but life is good. You know, I like beautiful surroundings and beautiful things. And so do you, Libras. You rule the planet of luxury and beauty. You deserve any and everything that you have, baby. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. You're really working. You're really doing your thing. Yeah, the Nine of Wands. What is the Nine of Wands? I feel like somebody, yeah, the Knight of Cups, the Moon. So somebody really wants to apologize here. The Justice. Somebody wants to make something fair. Could be a Cancer. Yeah, somebody wants to heal a situation with you from the past. I feel like somebody had ample opportunity to, to heal something, to apologize, to come correct, to say something to you, and they chose not to out of arrogance, out of being prideful. And that same arrogance and pride is going to be their downfall. That's going to be the reason why they're going to stay stuck. They're going to lose everything around them. They're going to have all that shit. That's the reason why. Somebody did not capitalize. They did not listen to divine guidance. That is on them. I opened the deck and I saw the Knight of Wands. It could be a Sagittarius and the Nine of Wands is here too. There's also somebody, yeah, the Nine of Wands and the Four of Wands. This could also be somebody that that is very, what's the Nine of Wands? I mean, you're, somebody's annoyed or frustrated. You're working. Your head is down. The Queen of Pentacles. Working on your money. Working on your shit. Somebody is mad about that or upset. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. Because you're being patronized. You, you seem to have a lot of opportunities. With the Seven of Cups, you seem to have a lot of options. And somebody is like stressed out about that. I'm getting, I'm getting people are going to be really sad for how they, they fucking did. Yeah, the five of swords. Somebody's jealous because you seem to have it easy. You, you, your life is good. You work hard, but they're struggling. Ten of wands. Somebody else is struggling. Somebody else, um, they just not doing well. What's the nine of wands? I, I, I just see somebody, I just see somebody here jealous as fuck. This could be somebody that lives around you. Oh, well, ho. Get your sorry ass weight up then, bitch. That's how I see it. What's the messages for Libra? These cards, yo, that is just too motherfucking many. Yeah, somebody's definitely jealous and envious and mad. But that's what they're going to be. They're just going to be that. What's the messages here for Libra? Okay. You have nothing to worry about here. You feel me? Go get your nails done. Go do, yeah, the judgment and the six of cups. You're being called. So something, somebody wants to reconcile something from the past. Okay. 
I'm getting you have a lot of option here. A lot of people uh, serving you or giving giving you what you want, patronizing you, taking care of you. Do you're being six of cups and six of swords. I mean, six of cups, six of pentacles, and a six of swords. Six, six, six. That's gifts. That's gifts. You're very gifted as well. You're pulling three sixes. The only six missing is the six of wands, y'all. Why does these fucking cards be coming out like this? Yeah, the eight of wands. I, I'm definitely getting somebody is, uh, this is just beautiful. You have, like, spirit wants you to know you have nothing to worry about. But there's some sad, mad-ass motherfuckers, dog. Oh, well. You're going to die sad and mad too, ho. Don't nobody give a fuck about all that. Fuck. Yeah, look at that. And I said sad. Look at this. The five of cups. Somebody, somebody really wants to come in. Yeah, no. We have the Knight of Wands. I mean, the Seven of Wands. So I'm getting you're blocking somebody. This Sagittarius that's coming towards you, uh, like a Knight of Wands. What the fuck? Hell no. Nah. And and the motherfucking Knight of Cups and Five of Cups. So somebody lost you. They're sorry. They want to apologize. I'm getting you're going to reject it. Yeah, you're closed off, Libra. That's you. Because somebody had ample time to say something and do something, and they chose not to. So I'm getting yeah seven two of swords ten of two of swords ten of swords and the four of swords you're going cold you're not you don't want to hear it, it, it it's it's just a wrap Th that's why you have this love coming in because spirit knows you were patient spirit knows that you were you were um you were loving caring giving nice and nurturing somebody could have tried to use you they could have stole money from you they could have overcharged you they could have been just did, doing a lot but yet and still you still have. Um, heart, you still have um, love in your heart. You still um, was genuine and this person knows that and they're going to watch you be successful and happy and love and they're going to miss out. This could be a twin flame that has missed out on your ass. Now they're going to watch you be happy with someone else and they're going to end up stuck with the same devilish person they laid up with and they motherfucking, they're going to end up losing everything. People think I just be talking but my predictions do come to, to fruition. It's only a matter of time. Time is fluid. If it ain't happened yet or if it didn't already happen, it will. The psychics ain't here for nothing. They're warning you of what's going on. Look at that. The high priestess. That's confirmation. That that this is a warning. The high priestess warns. Somebody refuses to, to listen. Now they're gonna they're gonna end up fucked up real bad and um losing everything of everything that you've been warned them about. And they're going to sit back and watch you and be sad because they didn't take a leap of faith or do what they were supposed to do. I'm getting you do not care anymore. You have nothing but kings around you. King of cup, king of pentacles. Here's a king of wands and here go king of swords. And three of cups is dating. I'm getting you're dating, you're doing your thing, but you're about to be in love or you already are. Yeah, the three of cups came out. Somebody's going to want to reconcile here, but you already know that. Hi, priestess. I'm getting you're dating, you're having fun. Somebody's in love with you. I see somebody like, they just stare at you. They just love to hold you, touch you. They want to spoil you, give you every... I see somebody with a beautiful smile. Every time somebody looks at you, all they do is smile from ear to ear. Or this is you or both of you. But I'm getting you're rejecting anything and anyone from the past. Anybody that didn't capitalize or was too busy trying to be intimidated or trying to find ways to, 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 to lower you or to make you feel some kind of way because they feel low about themselves, you're done with that. Yeah, I just saw the Ace of Wands and I saw the Empress. Here's the Empress. Yeah, there it is. And the Queen of Wands. Wow, I'm getting you're very attractive. Somebody's like obsessed with you, uh, with your attraction, your beauty, your everything. I'm, I'm getting some of you are going to get pregnant as well by this new love. You're going to get pregnant. For those of you who want a baby, it's going to come. You're going to have your fucking baby. Just period, point, motherfucking blank. Okay? I feel, I feel like there's somebody from your past, a Scorpio or a Capricorn. That is doing witch, um, doing evil, wicked witch, um, shit on you, or trying to do that shit on you, and I feel like somebody's going to play. What's the Queen of Wands, the Devil, and the Death card? Queen of Wands in reverse is a witch, somebody who does wicked, evil shit. Okay, this could also be somebody, somebody you used to deal with, one of their partners, one of their fucking females or something that could be watching and doing this. What's the Ace of Wands in reverse? I mean, Queen of Wands in reverse with the Devil and the Death card. Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody is doing very wicked shit here, but they fucking with the right one. What is the Queen of Wands in reverse with the Devil? And oh my God, I knew this card was coming out. Justice, bitch. 
justice, ho. The universe has spoken, ho. It's over with. Somebody finna get real, 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 real bad karma for this. And judgment is here. Like, nigga, what? And the world. These are all karmic cards. These are all karmic cards. Somebody here is going to face very bad karma. Or, or whoever, whoever tried you. And your family and your whoever did it. A, a mad, sad ass, sorry, sucker duck ass ex, a Scorpio, a lame and a loser. Yeah, nine of swords. Not somebody want a nine of swords. Not somebody worried and shook. Bitch, you should be. I'm not even going to lie to you. You should be very shook. Very. Because somebody here is of the divine. They, they didn't do nothing. They don't fuck with nobody. All they do is... It, and there's that other karmic wheel. There it is. Somebody chasing, facing uh, quadruple karma. And, and I'm serious. I know that sound. I'm serious. Somebody facing there. There you go, Empress. The universe is going to make sure that, that, that um, they dish out the karma that's due. And I'm getting... If you're a Libra rising like myself, every day you rise, you are karma without even trying. And motherfuckers want to come for you. Libra rising is not a good place to fuck with and do and do evil. To do to do wicked on Libras anyway is um to do is is wrong because they are karma. But when you have it in the rising, like myself, and highly aspected and in the sun, and you're doing this, and then you're chosen, you're fucking with someone who's chosen and who's very, very, very fucking powerful. You have to be very careful with what you're doing, man. And I feel like somebody just is not, they don't care. Their whole goal is to see you lose, and they never will. That's they, they, this is just a waste because they never will. It's not destined for you. Somebody cannot stand that, but it is what it is. The Empress and the Will of Fortune. Your debt, your, the universe is always going to conspire and spoil you. The Empress is the fa is favorite of the Zodiac, period. You're going to always be favored, my nigga. It just is what it is. If you were born a Libra, it is what it is. Ain't no reason to be mad or, or to try to, yeah, the Nine of Cups. Look at that. Spoil. Getting what you want by the universe. You're making it. And Nine of Cups is making it. That's Genie in the Bottle. Nine wishes. Every wish is the, the universe's command. Okay, they're going to make sure you have it. They want to have this. They want to give this to you. You deserve it. You worked hard for it. Everything meant to break you and to hold you down. You you conquered it. You went through it and you excelled, my nigga. And then because of that, you were chosen to be the emperor impress, to run shit and to be a boss, to shine, to be a star and to make a difference in this fucking world. And that's exactly what the fuck you're going to do. Ten of Pentacles. And the King of Swords. I'm getting you're highly intelligent. You're rubbing shoulders with very prestigious or, or elite motherfuckers. Are you of elite blood, bitch? It's in your DNA. You. It's in your DNA. Somebody here is, they just don't get it, man. They just don't motherfucking get it. I'm getting you're going to be emotional. Yeah, the Three of Swords. Somebody's sad. This is five of cups, three of swords, a death card. Could be a Scorpio or a Libra or, or somebody with that highly aspected or the uh, Capricorn or whatever. Yeah, somebody's sad because you are the star, star card falling out in the Ace of Wands. It fell out. So you have somebody new here. Like I said, this Ace of Wands, you're doing something here. You're meeting someone new, this Ace of Wands, and they're very well endowed. I've been getting visions of somebody with a really big penis. So if you're into really huge ones, here they come. Uh, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm I'm serious. Like, yeah, but there's somebody sad or several people. Oh, well, that, that, that's just is what it is. They're going to be sad, bitch, because you don't give a fuck. Yeah, the eight of cups. Somebody is going, somebody needs to know they just need to walk away. But karma is on their ass for this devil shit. Karma is here. Justice. They will, they will pay in the worst way or whoever came for you will pay. We got the Howard font and the Page of Swords. So you're respected. You're on stage. This is something you do. You're, you're very much looked up to. You're very much respected. This is this month is really, really great for you, Libra. The rest of this month and moving forward. This is only the 25th to the 31st. But bitch, you, you motherfucking, you motherfucking winning, ho. And I, I'm going to have to just keep it real. This is male or female Libras. You're fucking winning. And that's just that the fuck on that. This is for both male and female. And you will get confirmation, Page of Wands. 
Okay, I'm getting, uh, yeah, the six of wands. I'm getting something about your DNA. You're also getting a lot of likes, comments, subscribes. You're also growing a lot of comments on, like a lot of good comments people are leaving on your content. Okay. Like, yeah, three of wands. Expecting new, good news to come in here. A lot, a lot. I'm also getting, yeah. So, so anybody trying to play you or, or come in with some fuck shit, it ain't going to work. Okay. Justice is here. You will prevail. Period. Point blank. You will prevail, Libras. All right. And that's just that on that. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. I'm getting you love your work. People love what you do for work. You're, you're, you're just a beast. Yeah, the hermit. And you're, and you're, and you're, um, you have a very loyal, like, um, spirit God around you. They, they are, they are all around you. Okay. They are all here. Guiding you. Six of swords. Protecting you. The judgment is here. Okay. I'm getting your, I'm getting your, your, the king of wands. All right. You have another king, cups, wands, pentacles, and the swords. You have a lot of kings here. That could be, in, you have a lot of suitors around you, but that's also emperor energy. So you, you're motherfucking, you're motherfucking winning. Just period. I feel like, um, there's definitely somebody that's mad. Okay that's sad and mad and a loser that's making up all these fake accounts and trolling your ass. But I'm getting there right down there and, and, and you're the empress. You're on the throne, bitch. They peasants, ho. Peasant assholes. They don't matter what they talking about. You're a loser. You, the, a fucking emperor. Empress don't worry about fucking clowns and losers. Yeah, the tower. This fucking Scorpio. That's exactly who the fuck it is. Trolling you and you know it. You know it's them and they know you know it's them. The fuck yeah, and the five of wands, jealous, hateful, uh, doing all kinds of shit to try to disrupt your your image or the way you're looked or the way you're respected because nobody respects their ugly, broke down clown ass. Oh well, your, your career is is set. You have lo people who are loyal to you. Look at that, the strength card, as I said, loyalty. All your your fans or subscribers or whatever you got is loyal to you. And they definitely not going to allow a clown bitch made nigga to, to come in and try to disrupt that. You don't have enough credibility, ho. You're a loser. Period. So, the, yeah, we have the emperor here. Big boss shit. The ace of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting like somebody is coming in. Yeah, the five of swords. And somebody hates what you do for work. They hate it. They hate what you literally look at somebody watching you work and they hate you. This probably this sad pussy ass Scorpio or Capricorn or, or Libra, whoever the fuck it is from the past, a pussy. But I'm getting your I'm I'm getting an opportunity is coming in for you, um, Libra. Or or some money. You need to keep your uh money and all that to yourself. I'm also getting somebody coming in that's very much protective and, and the emperor is here. Very protective over you, very possessive. But I don't feel like, yeah, that's the truth, Ace of Swords. Okay, but I don't feel like this is somebody that um is like trying to, uh, you know, control you. It's just that this is how this person is with you. This person that's here or that's coming in, this is just how they are. Somebody's going to be madly in love with you and they're very much going to, going to want to protect you here. Okay, fiercely. So this is great news, Libra. It looks good. The number 38 could be significant. I'm getting work, focus, drive, and this little peon shit, you ain't got nothing to worry about. No delays, no blocks, no nothing. You're moving forward, and that's just that the fuck on that, baby. Okay, so there's your other reading. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Follow your girl on Instagram at Empress Goddess underscore 35 and on TikTok at Unique underscore Tarot. Bye.